Welcome back to my classroom. This is Justin. Today I am going to talk about types of ANOVA. Generally, we use based on the experimental designs or kind of designs that you have. Uh, before starting with the type of ANOVA, you need to explain two concepts here, uh, which is very important in the context of uh, ANOVA. So one is uh, the term factor, and other one is a term level. Okay, now uh, factor means number of independent variables and other one is level that means in a independent variable how many groups are there. For example, you have a combination like 2 into 3, we don't say 2 into 3, it's 2 by 3. If you have a 2 by 3 design, uh, this means that you have 1 factor and 2 factor. Okay, so you have two factors here that means two independent variable under first factor you have two groups maybe like male and female and the second factor you have a male uh, maybe like a socioeconomic status something like low middle uh, average i'm sorry high like that so this is three groups this is two uh, groups so two independent variables so this is a concept of uh, factorial uh, the the factorial design uh, what if you have two by 3 by 2 this indicates uh, I have three independent variable first independent variable has two levels second independent variable has three levels and third independent variable has two levels like that okay so the term factor and the term levels that has to be understood before we start with the type of ANOVA that we use so um, we'll start with the types of ANOVA which is one of the very commonly used kind of question in net exams usually in the last case studies now um, uh, we will differentiate the type of ANOVA, types of ANOVA into two categories. One is the between group design. Between group design, what kind of ANOVAs we use and within group designs. So let us see um, what is between, what is within. Hope you are sure about, clear about that part. Uh, between means you have three independent groups like male, female, transgender or um, group 1 uh, undergoing a treatment, group 2 a separate group 2 that is undergoing another treatment and group 3 which are undergoing another treatment. Waiting group means pre-test process follow-up or same group members itself condition 1, condition 2, condition 3 that's a between and within group differences. So if you have one dependent variable and one independent variable so one dependent variable and one uh, independent variable and uh, the concept of ANOVA is applicable when you have more than uh, two uh, uh, groups I mean levels for the, for the independent variable what if you have just two levels something like male and female one independent variable uh, that is variable sex and the dependent variable is let us say happiness now uh, in that context we don't need to do an ANOVA you can go ahead with the t-test I'm not saying that you cannot do ANOVA, you can do, but you can, you can easily go ahead with the t-test itself. So if you have three levels, male, female, transgender, you cannot go ahead with the uh, ano uh, t-test. So you have to do uh, ANOVA. So in this context, if it's a between group combination, we do one way ANOVA. Okay. And what if uh, assumptions are not met? We go for a non-parametric test that is cross skull values. actually i don't know how to pronounce this terms but uh, i i guess it could be cross skull values and uh, what if it's a within group condition that means you have one dependent variable happiness pre-test post-test follow-up we use repeated measures anova i'm writing short form for is rm anova and non-parametric test could be friedman's anova like that so this can be done when you have one dependent variable and one independent variable and one independent variable so you have more than two groups if it is two groups t-test um, and what if you have one uh, dependent variable and one uh, more than two like two or more ivs independent variables that means you have more than one factor this uh, from here onwards we call as factorial designs because you have more than one factor that means you have more than one independent variable now we have to go for a factorial ANOVA 
or you want to be very specific you can call it as 2v ANOVA if you have 3 independent variables you can have we can say that 3v ANOVA if you have 4 independent variables you can call it as 4v ANOVA that change with the number of independent variables so instead we can call it as a factorial ANOVA that's how the, in the term factor is very important in this context okay now do you have a non-parametric test um, not well established non-parametric no well established non-parametric test is, uh, is available for factorial ANOVA what about this uh, uh, within group design, you will use same RM ANOVA. RM ANOVA is such a little more uh, sophisticated, bigger test which, which can include a lot of possibilities. Now, what if um, you have, a, um, here let me one, say one more thing, what if uh, your independent variables are not more than two groups? Fine, let it be any number of levels, that means any number of groups. If you have more than one independent variable, you have to go for uh, factorial ANOVA itself. And what if you have more than many um, DV and any IV, okay? Many DV or any IV. So you use it, we can do a test called as MANOVA. What is MANOVA? MANOVA is multivariate analysis of variance. Okay, now what is repeat measures here? You have same R MANOVA itself. Oh, I didn't complete this. No known parametric here. No known parametric here. No known parametric here. So this is the outline of kind of tests that we can use uh, based on a number of uh, analysis. That means you have multiple um, dependent variables, uh, the last thing, okay? You have multiple dependent variables um, like happiness, depression, anxiety, and you are trying to use, let us say, CBT to check whether uh, CBT is effective to reduce all these three methods. You can go for uh, many DV, that is uh, MANOVA. So one of the major assumptions of MANOVA, uh, I will be discussing in detail about in the MANOVA section, but in general, what's one of the major assumption of MANOVA is all the three dependent variables has to be correlated significantly, statistically and theoretically correlated. Related. So that's how uh, you, this is how you can find out what kind of analysis has to be do, uh, used in, uh, in the context. Now let me say some usual variation from this context. For example, you have any of these two condition and you have an extraneous variable. Let's say extraneous variable. So you have an extraneous variable to control and uh, you have to do any of the ANOVAs. It, it can be one-way ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, factorial ANOVA like that, but you have an extraneous variable to control. This is called as ANCOVA. ANCOVA means analysis of covariance. So you have an extra, extraneous variable and you, and you have measured it and you can control it statistically and do a usual ANOVA, it's called as ANCOVA. What about uh, doing a controlling an extraneous variable when you have a multiple dependent variable? This is called as MANCOVA. See that? The terms. So MANOVA become MANCOVA, ANOVA become ANCOVA. So when it happens, this you should have an extraneous variable to work with. So this is a almost all level of test. So I'm going to say, discuss some uh, specific designs that we can use. For example, let us consider a, uh, a typical exp a design where you have a condition where like pre-test, post-test, an experimental group and a control group. See that. So this is my design. So you have um, four set of data you will get. Okay, so experimental group and control group and they have pre-test condition and post condition. Now, uh, what kind of design is this? Is it a within group design? Uh, it is not a within group design because you have an experimental group and a control group. Is it a between group design? Yeah, you cannot say like that because you have a pre-test and post -test. This is a uh, mixer design, both between and within. It's a factorial design because you have multiple factor here. What are the factors? One is the time phase, that is pre-test to post the time. Uh, here, the group membership uh, intervention given or not given, like that experimental group, control group. So this is one variable, independent variable, this is another independent variable so you have two independent variables so it's a factorial design it's a mixer design now what kind of analysis can be used in this context you can use two kind of tests one is uh, ANCOVA other one is RM ANOVA why two tests can be used uh, the logic in which these two tests works is different for example when you do ANCOVA what you are actually doing you are doing a between group design that means this term ANCOVA here it works with the between group design if you are working with the within group design uh, you can always go ahead with the rm anova itself this rm anova can 
do um, the the uh, you know like control of extraneous variable so uh, maybe i didn't discuss it properly but i would say that this ancova and mancova both are between group designs see that so armanova in, in within armanova you can do a controlling of extraneous variable so um, what uh, this one way nova factorial nova in this context you can go for ancova and um, uh, manova context you can go for mancova like that uh, aro manova itself is uh, uh, efficient enough to deal with the extraneous variable now look at this context ancova how does it work how does uh, the uh, ancova is basically a uh, between group design so you have uh, you have to control com compare two groups so what they do is they compare this value that's postest value of extraneous uh, the experimental group and postest value of control group so they are comparing these two it's it's something like a t-test you're comparing this group and this group after controlling the pretest so what they do is they will subtract the effect of pretest on postest that is the slope of the regression line maybe we'll discuss in detail later okay so this pretest effect on postest will be subtracted from that and you will compare uh, experimental group and control group so it's basically a between group design okay now what if i do the same analysis with r manova so the design is different the same analysis will be done like uh, it will be something like comparing pretest value and postest value that means it works with a within pattern fundamentally and consider these two things as a ex uh, the the between uh, variable be between group variable that means uh, r manova treat this as a uh, fundamental basic uh, the uh, 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 between group design, sorry, mixed group design, uh, but uh, uncover treat this as a um, between group design. Okay, now um, another way in which we can deal with this particular condition is you can find out post test minus pre test. See that? So you'll have a d value or you call as gained score gain how much scores has gained from pretest to process and you can compare these two values with a t-test independent sample t-test that's also possible so these are the different ways which we can compare uh, the uh, we can work with a pretest post-test experimental group control uh, group design it's a typical true experiment right if randomization is applied it's a typical true experiment what if you have a condition like um, pretest post-test and follow up or delayed port post test and you have experimental group and control group okay now in this context um, there's no other way you have to work with the rm anova itself okay so uh, these are the uh, different kind of anovas that we do uh, uh, in different contexts so based on the type of variable number of factors number of levels you have to decide which uh, statistical method is appropriate now why this class is very important this methods are very important because each um, um, analysis you will get different number of interaction effects different values for degree of freedom and different uh, st uh, elements that we calculate something like between group within group among uh, uh, group uh, s uh, sum of squares or uh, something like uh, um, uh, how many f values that we get so so much of uh, differences in all this kind of uh, test so usually in a net exam the last question tend to be from uh, the analysis i mean a, a case study and a common way in which they discuss uh, this element is something like appropriate statistical test has been used or appropriate uh, stat um, anovas has been uh, used now you have to assume which analysis has used otherwise uh, calculation of further values may be inappropriate so yeah this is about types of anova um, bye from my classroom we'll see you in the next class bye